got the big Dodge Ram 5.7 liter uh, obviously we got AC issues we got some refrigerant got some dye um so complaint was they replaced the heater core now he has no AC and doesn't have AC uh, hasn't had it since it was replaced so anyways um I tried it the clutch don't even kick on I just I didn't even bother breaking out the big I just got this cheap just the cheap one you can buy I don't know, probably AutoZone or whatnot slapped it on here to the low pressure side and there is nothing in here so yes the, the uh obviously the compressor is not going to kick on which it's down it's right down there okay so obviously the compressor is not going to kick on because there's nothing in the system so i'm gonna put some dye in here get it all hooked up and then we'll go ahead and uh see if we can get that compressor on i'm filling the port section with dye Okay, pour too much dye, but it doesn't matter because we already know it's more likely not leaking right there. Could be, but maybe not. Got the can, got the can all set up. So now we're just gonna go into this giant beast. And we're gonna fire it up. Then we're gonna turn the AC on high and make sure your make sure your AC is actually pressed on. I went ahead and checked all the fuses and they're all good. So that's not the problem. So essentially, we're just going to inject some Freon in here. It's going to take this whole can. Just keep rotating it back and forth like so. And hopefully we can hear the compressor kick on once we get enough in there. And there it is. Compressor just kicked on. See, there's just enough to kick it on. Now, I doubt, I doubt, yeah, I see it blowing on hot air, I, I, didn't, I didn't think that was enough. Okay, so we're just adding the one can, um, it is dropping, it was up to 90 something, now it's down to roughly 70, and falling slowly. But I'm not doing this to make it ice cold right now. I need to find where the leak is because it was bone dry. Again, I didn't hook my, my, my shop or my gauges up to it, but I just, even that simple one, it should have kicked something. But even uh, whenever you push down that trigger, it said it was completely empty. So anyways, let's, you gotta let it run for about 15, 20 minutes and then we'll stop and try to find that leak. All right, since it was empty, I ended up uh, putting the full amount in there. And everything is it's ice cold it's down to 49 degrees um i have searched everything i know it's kind of daylight but honestly this this will pick it up i mean you don't have to have it completely dark i, I got the big light yeah all the all the connections so far are good leading in the con to the condenser and there is all good bottom of it's good come through the front grill here Condenser is good. Top and bottom fittings are good. So what I'm hoping is that they just they just left off the uh, you know, when they did the heater core. Again, I don't know if it has anything to do with the AC. For me personally, I would never attempt that. I, that was definitely one you want to take to a shop, in my opinion. But maybe you're ballsier than I am. So anyways, yeah, that was that was a pretty easy job. Obviously, see the spillage, you know, shine. So yeah, I didn't see a single leak, so that's good. Checked underneath the dash, all the fuses are okay, the AC's on. So, that was an easy fix, sorry, that was a boring video. Sorry guys. Um, so yeah, well, that's how you find an AC leak if, if that's what you're looking for. Hit that like button, subscribe, and uh, see you guys next time. This is gonna be extremely difficult to film for you guys, but uh, still pissing out over there. I'm just waiting for the pressure to relieve enough and I'm going to take that off. There's an expansion valve in there. It's actually behind the dash. And I am, I'm hoping it's just an O-ring because if it's not an O-ring, I couldn't find much from Dodge. And I'll have to do some more research, get back to you. But it's like behind the dash.
All right, here we go. We're gonna start off. Oh, it's an old socket. Ah, I think it's a 13 millimeter. Let's get back there. Uh, problem is they got the stupid cold air intake on this thing. Okay, I guess it ain't stupid. I guess I'll throw one on there too. But it's very much in my way. It sticks up way, way higher than the factory air box does. That's my complaint. Oh, let's hope it's just missing an O-ring or something. Okay, two six-inch extensions. Okay. I don't want that to fall. And let's get that out of there. Okay. I don't see any O-rings. Are they around here? Maybe. No. There's nothing there. Okay. So anyways, uh, this is what that looks like. Right there. Um, yeah, there should be... Uh, two O-rings behind there, and there's not. Ooh, what a journey. Uh, it's very hot, and uh, so I went ahead and used some universal O-rings. That's all they are, is just O-rings. But they had one on the smaller line, but not the larger line. So essentially, I just, I used a universal kit, and uh, yeah, saved them a lot of money. And now it's not hissing or pissing, it was, the AC leak is finally fixed. So anyways, I will conclude this video now because now it is definitely fixed. There's no other leaks anywhere else around the engine bay. The AC compressor's on, running great. And yeah, that's the expansion valve. Uh, whenever they must have did the heater core. I don't know if they replaced that valve or not, but they forgot the O-rings, which is very important. So now he's got AC, it's down to 49 degrees. It's coming out. Like, subscribe, head down there. Uh, I got a YouTube store, got a bunch of stuff, and I'll see you guys next time.